So graphene was first isolated here in the University of Manchester in 2004, and often it's been described as in its teenage years, just 14 years since its first isolation through to today. This year, 2018, is going to be a key event in that we are opening our second graphene building, the Graphene Engineering Innovation Centre, which sits alongside the National Graphene Institute and will play a key role in the acceleration of graphene products and applications. So whilst the National Graphene Institute will play a key role in translating some of that science from across the various schools in the university, the GEEK's role in particular will be to look at how we accelerate the scale-up and the pilot production of the different graphene materials, but also the various applications. I often call it a make or break centre, because if something's going to fail, you want it to fail quickly, but you also want to iterate it very fast, working in partnership with industry to take these new products and applications to market. So since the discovery of graphene in 2004, we've set ourselves a vision of creating a graphene city. What is Graphene City is all about bringing together the academics from across the university, not just in physics, but from the other sciences, from engineering, but also working in partnership and collaboration with industry. If we can create the whole ecosystem of companies working alongside the academics here in the Northwest and Manchester, and we can do that at a pace that traditionally is much faster than traditionally it's taken a new material into the market, then we can create this ecosystem, what we're calling Graphene City.